All right, everybody, Chase March here, continuing our tutorial on how to make a mixtape using just your computer. Last time I showed you how to track an album, so that means each individual song is gonna have its own track on the CD. And we made this folder mixtape, and if we click on there, you will see that it has the three songs that I showed you how to mix in the last YouTube tutorial. So there's MLP, there's Graffiti Logic, and there's Bush Babies. All right, I have iTunes open over here. All you need to do is drag that folder into your iTunes and you'll see that it'll start processing album artwork it's already in there the reason I'm using iTunes is because you can set it up so there won't be any gap between the songs so I gotta go find it now my mixtape there it is alright so you go to file go to new playlist call it my mixtape then come back to your music find it, drag it over, whoops, click on it, drag it over, you'll see a three is floating around, that means there's three tracks, put it in my mixtape. Now when you click the my mixtape playlist, you'll see those three tracks. We can play them, I can skip right to the end, you can hear graffiti logic over top of it, it's counting down to zero seamless mix to the next track. If you're burning mixtapes on Windows Media Player, it will automatically put a gap in between the songs, and that's no good for our purposes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna burn playlist to disc, and once again, iTunes is awesome for this because when it comes up, and I apologize, my computer's probably a little bit slower than yours, it's a little bit older, but when we get the screen popping up here, it will say gap between songs, and you make sure you set that to none. I always have mine set to none because I'm making mixtapes, but Windows Media Player will automatically have it at two, and a lot of default programs will have it at two seconds. And then what happens is they don't mix together. You get it sounding like it's missing, mixing, and then there's a big gap. So set it to none, set it to burn, and you will have a fully tracked and mixed CD. All right, hope that's helped you out, and I will have a few more mixtape tutorials Coming up soon on ChaseMarch.com. Stay tuned. Peace.